Hi, welcome to Sumri P. My name's Sue and now I'm Sue from Sweden. I've recently moved and I love baking with spelt flour. I haven't been doing a lot of bread baking lately because it's been too warm and I haven't had my KitchenAid, which I love. So I thought, I wonder if you can make a bread that is easy, you don't need to knead it, and maybe you don't even need to like, let it rise. And then I Googled and I stumbled across this blogger who was making this German style bread, which is no rise, which is no proving, so you don't have to wait. And I made it with spelt flour and seeds and a little bit of lemon juice, and it's amazing. So I call it my magic spelt bread. So if you want to see how to make this magic spelt bread, no rise, no proving, no kneading, come with me and let's see. So I'm over here on the bench and I've got everything ready to go. In my large mixing bowl, I've got whole grain spelt flour. Isn't that a cute package? It's called Dinkle here. And that is um, one pound, two ounces or four cups plus two tablespoons. And I'm using three different types of seeds. Chia seeds, sunflower seeds, and white sesame seeds. So they all go in the bowl. So that's 70 grams or half a cup or two and a half ounces. And you can mix and match whatever seeds you've got on hand. I haven't made it without seeds. If you want to, didn't want chia seeds, you can add flax seeds. I don't bother toasting them. We have one tablespoon full of salt, just popped it on that side. And I've got one 14 gram packet of dried yeast. Just pop it over here. If you're concerned whether your yeast is still fresh, one way to check is to pop it into some warm water and let it mix it around and let it rest for 10 minutes. And if it starts bubbling, it's ready. I had a, a packet in the cupboard yesterday and I tried to make some bread and I tested it and it didn't bubble up, so I had to throw it out. Um, even though the package date said it was still in the best before. So all I'm doing now is just mixing all that together, but I might swap it and use my whisk instead. In this jug here, I've just got some warm tap water, 500 mils. And when I say warm, it's just warm to touch. If it's too hot, you'll kill your yeast. If it's too cold, the yeast won't activate. All I do now is just stir it. The original recipe that I was inspired by, they had, um, they used vinegar, because the acid also helps make it rise without proving it. I didn't have any vinegar in this kitchen, so I had fresh lemon juice, so you can do lemon juice replace to replace the vinegar so that's two tablespoons so that just goes in once you've started mixing it then we just combine this until all the flour and water is combined and you'll notice it's quite hydrated and a bit runnier than a normal dough next step is we pour it into our prepared tin Just flatten it, everything down. I was just adjusting my trays in the oven. So the next step is grab your bread and we need to bake this in an oven starting cold at 200 degrees without a fan. And we bake it for 60 minutes and then check it. And if you don't feel like it's cooked properly, you can turn your oven off, leave it in for another 10 minutes and then bring it out. Can't wait to show you. So I've turned my oven on to 200 degrees C. I don't have a fan in this oven. I've lowered it on the bottom shelf because these ovens are a little bit tricky. The middle rack actually goes really high. So can't wait to show you. The bread is still really warm and it's hot to handle. Look at that, there's steam coming off it. That's the inside of it. It's quite a dense bread, which I love for toasting. Um, not really a fluffy sandwich loaf, but give it a go and let me know what you think. Write a comment below. Hit thumbs up if you've liked my video. Don't forget to share it with a friend and subscribe if you're new here today and stick around and watch a few other bread recipes with spelt flour. Thanks again. Bye.